Hey YouTube, it's Krista. Um, this is going to be a car vlog. I am braving the big city traffic to go get a good deal on some shoes for um, Noah and a belly bandit um, from like a site sort of like Craigslist in my area. So I'm meeting two people at the same place, killing two birds with one stone. Um, but the only time these people were available was in the evening because they work uh, during the week. So that is unfortunate, but it was too good of a deal to pass up, so that's where I'm headed. Sorry for the weird lighting. Um, but this is just going to be a quick uh, kind of video response to um, Kelsey plus one please um, her video about confessions of a sleep deprived mom, which is a topic um, I'm trying to find, uh, I'm just cut off by the sun, um, which is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. If you've watched my videos for you know, any length of time, you, uh, the topic of sleep training and co-sleeping, um, and sleep issues, you know, has come up on my channel quite a few times, so, um, and it's actually kind of the reason for, um, my son's name. I joked on Facebook that, uh, for baby number two, I wanted to name, name the baby something related to peace or sleep or, you know, something like that. That was what my... Uh, joke was, and um, when we found out we were having a boy, and we knew we wanted a Hebrew name, first name, um, I looked up the meaning of Noach, which is Noah in Hebrew, the masculine form, and it means rest and comfort. <laughs> so I'm kind of like believing and praying for my son to be a better sleeper than my daughter. Um, and I can relate to Kelsey. Uh, her her situation and scenario with um, the husband because my husband works um, crazy hours also he works 12 hours a day and a pretty labor intensive like hands-on type of job sometimes he's out in the elements and it's hot and we live also in um, the same area as Kelsey so um, he actually has to wake up at currently 3 30 in the morning to get to work or to get ready for work. He has to be there at 4.30. And um, he gets off at 4.30 and usually gets home around five with the traffic. So, um, yeah, he is pretty much not available to help. And I didn't expect that, um, expect that of him because I knew, you know, that his work demanded a lot out of him. And since I, I have the privilege of being home full time. I just kind of accepted that as my responsibility and, and my role. Um, but at the same time, like, I do wish I, I was in a situation where I could just hand off that responsibility from time to time to, to him. Um, but I didn't grow up, like, my dad wasn't, he didn't really do that type of stuff, so I didn't get married having that expecta expectation that my husband would kind of do that. That was always my mom's thing and I'm you know I'm comfortable with that but the only thing that does bother me and kind of angers me occasionally is that sometimes I feel like he doesn't fully appreciate the work I do I mean I, I know that he works long hours outside of the home and I know it's demanding and I know I mean getting up that early I usually get up with him um, and th then I get to go back to bed and he doesn't. So, you know, I really appreciate that. But sometimes I don't think it, I don't think guys in general or husbands realize the labor intensity of what we do as moms with little kids and how, how demanding that actually is. And um, sometimes not really understanding why we would be so tired at the end of the day when we've been home. <laughs> So that's the only thing that gets kind of like old, but this this topic came back up um, also for us this week, this issue, because I don't know if it's our move to a new place that has kind of thrown Ori's schedule off, if it's developmental changes, if she's just a baby that doesn't need as much sleep as what the books say kids her age should be getting, or the time change, um, daylight savings time, or all of the above. Um, but. She usually goes to bed between 
Um, we start like we start her routine around 7:30, so she's usually asleep or in her crib at eight, between eight and like 8:45. Um, so she's either like in her crib laying down or already asleep around that time. And she wakes has been waking up like three or four times this past week. She's woken up around four in the morning and wanted to come be with me. And then she would sleep two more hours. Um, today it was around five, five thirty. So like uh, consistently throughout this week, she's been waking up too early and coming in bed with me and wanting to nurse and wanting, you know, snuggles, which I love. Um, the only thing that really makes me nervous is I know that in three months time I will have a newborn and I'm just worried like if the whole sleeping issue with or waking up too early and still she's still a terrible napper like she needs me in order to take naps I haven't um, we've successfully sleep sleep trained her during the night she has a routine and she lays down and I can put her in her crib awake and it's fine but during the day she will not sleep in her crib I don't know why there's such a difference between daytime napping in a crib and nighttime sleeping in a crib but for her apparently there is and um, I'm just getting kind of nervous like I'm not sure what I need to do but I feel like I need to do something quick and fast in a hurry because in three months I'll have Noah who's gonna be in my bed and who's gonna be up all night and I'm just concerned <laughs> I thought we would have weaned Ori by now, but she's pretty persistent and she's asking to nurse and I've tried, you know, a lot of different distraction techniques and that, that sometimes helps and sometimes doesn't. Um, at night, she wants to nurse and it's just for like three minutes, but she wants that um, comfort before bed and since she's been waking up so early in the morning, she's been wanting that also. Um, and she usually wants that to fall asleep for naps. So I'm just concerned of how that will be a conflict when Noah's here and their feeding schedules or her demanding to nurse will ca uh, conflict with his need to nurse because she doesn't really need to nurse. She just wants to nurse. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And I, I definitely sympathize and can relate um, and have lived through sleep <laughs> deprivation. So I'm really hoping that Noah will be a much easier going kid and a lot more relaxed as far as, you know, how he falls asleep, when he falls asleep, where he falls asleep. Ori has always been so particular and, you know, you see like pictures of kids who just, you know, they fall asleep in their stroller and their car seat on the couch, you know, anywhere basically, and I have never experienced that with my daughter, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe number two, <laughs> we'll see, but anyway, I just wanted to, um, make this quick video response and say hi to Kelsey, and I can relate, <laughs> alright guys, bye.